Hi, this is Victor Antonio, and welcome to another Monday morning sales workout for managers. All right, managers, you know the deal. Download the worksheet. Now, in this module, what I want you to do is discuss with your salespeople buying signals. Let me repeat that, buying signals. What type of signals does your customer give you when they're looking to buy? What type of signals do they give you when they're looking to not buy or they're not going to buy. In other words, I want you to work with your sales team on creating a list of buying signals when, you know, when the customer says this, that's a good indication. When the customer does that, that's a good indication that this is a buying signal. So list out five to 10 buying signals that your salespeople see when they're talking to a customer. Here's why it's important that you know this, or they go through this rather, and share it with others. Because if you know what the buying signals are, and you know what the list is, and you memorize that list, now your brain becomes focused on trying to, like a radar system, trying to locate those signals. Like a radio trying to receive the right frequency, it's scanning the channels to make sure that it gets those frequencies. But you also want to talk about negative buying signals. In other words, these are signals that they're not going to buy. They're not going to make a decision, or they're going to defer it to the next quarter or next year. List out five to ten signals, things they say, things they do, things they show, that highlight that they're more likely not going to buy. And again, once we know what those signals are and our brain is aware of them, we can now course correct while we're in the presentation. So if you hear something or see something that falls under the negative buying signal column, then you know at that moment, you start have to make it, you're going to have to start making some adjustments in your presentation. If they bring up a competitor, let's say that's a negative buying signal, then what you're going to have to do is address the competitor right there and then. Because if you just let it go, they're not going to buy. Another may be price. Maybe that's a negative buying signal. Okay, let's adjust, step out of our presentation, and deal with that. What we want to do is to make sure that salespeople are flexible enough to first read the terrain see the buying signals, hear the signals, and then make the proper course correction. If we're getting buying signals, well, let's not sell beyond the close. Let's just ask for the order. But if we're getting negative buying signals, we need to know what we're going to do to adjust the plan. So step number two here, go through your list of negative buying signals and then ask your sales team, what do they do when they hear this? What do they do when someone shows them this? When they get a negative buying signal, what do they do? I think this is going to be an interesting discussion. Have it with your sales team. Good luck. This is Victor Antonio, always reminding you, selling ain't hard when you can read the signals and you know how. Take care.